This is a qualitative application of Raoul's law. We're interested in finding what the lowest vapor pressure of solution is, and which would correspond to the solution that has the highest particle concentration. Looking at our reagents, we see some are molecular in nature. They have only nonmetals, and therefore, when they dissolve, they will not dissociate. Those compounds that are ionic are going to dissolve 100% into their ions. All right, so here we see illustrated the difference between a molecular compound that contains only nonmetal atoms. When it dissolves, it simply dissolves. It stays together as a unit, so every unit of the solute releases simply one particle in solution. That can be represented by I, the Van Toff factor, and I value equal to 1. The Van Toff factor is the number of particles that are released into solution per unit of the solute. For a molecular compound, I is equal to 1. Sodium nitrate is an ionic compound. It contains a metal and a polyatomic ion. When dissolved in solution, it dissociates into ions. We're told to assume 100% dissociation of ions, so all of the sodium nitrate that dissolves is going to dissociate into sodium plus nitrate ions. We have a Van Toff factor equal to 2 because for every unit of sodium nitrate that dissolves, we have two particles in solution. This is an alcohol. It's a molecular compound. Don't let the OH ending fool you. There's no metal here, so it's not a base. As a molecular compound, it is not going to dissociate into ions. It's simply going to dissolve. Our final solution is one containing magnesium chloride, another ionic compound. When it dissolves, it's going to dissociate into ions. Here we'll have one magnesium 2 plus ion and two chloride ions. So every unit of magnesium chloride is going to release three particles in solution. All right, so again, we're looking for the solution that's going to contain the highest particle concentration, and that's going to correspond to the lowest vapor pressure. Okay, so we've calculated the, car the particle concentration of each of these solutions. The answer to our question will be the one that has the highest particle concentration, and therefore it is going to be choice D, particle concentration of 3.0 molar.